two National League teams. It's the Philadelphia Phillies against the New York Mets, right here on 2K Sports. What a baseball's exciting young player. Here to the right, on display for our game. It's National League Baseball, and it's the National League East featuring the New York Mets. Gary Thorne, John Crutch, Steve Phillips, 2K Major League Baseball. Here's a look at the Mets starter. And as he gets into this Philadelphia lineup, Steve, strategy-wise, he's set at a good lefty to the mound in this ballgame here. This is a great lineup, a lineup that can really beat up even some of the best pitchers in the game. So he's going to have to be on top of his game in order to do it and rely upon that movement on his pitches. We've got a moment to show you the Phillies lineup. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, a guy who's a former MVP and Jimmy Rollins is a guy that stands out for you. Why is he playing the shortstop position and he's very athletic and gifted at that position? But what he can do, too, is he's a guy at the top of the water that can hit a lot of triples. And when he does that and he's putting the ball in play and getting on base, his team usually wins. Well, the Phillies took the loss yesterday. They had quite a bit of steam coming into that one. They'd won four in a row. Well, anytime you're struggling, you could still play 500 ball. That's a good thing. Ball Let's one. let breaking ball go outside for ball one. A few of these stretches won't hurt a ball club so long as you can get a few more where you're over 500. Well, that's the thing. Anytime you can scratch out wins when you're not playing your best and keep your record around 500 during a bad spell, you're going to have a chance to win a division. Circle change that time misses, and it's two and one. In his career, 269 off the Mets. Two and and two. a swing and a miss by Rollins. Count is not enough. Now, if you got a chance to see the last game, you saw he seemed a little bit flustered at the plate, expanding the strike zone, striking out twice in that You're game. Out. And Jimmy Rollins goes down swinging. That is strike three. Well, two strikes on the hitter, and he came inside. He just couldn't catch up quickly enough to it. He must have been thinking away. Got a chance to check out the Mets. This is how they position themselves defensively. And, uh, John, any scouting picks? Well, the excitement that Jose Reyes brings to a ballpark, everyone thinks it's just offensively. But defensively, he can be a lightning rod, too. Can cover so much ground as far as pop-ups go behind him. But he's also great with a strong throwing arm at turning the double play. That one fouled off by Polanco. Ground ball to Davis. And that one is through. That's their first hit of the game. And a brief moment to see who's atop the league batting-wise brought to you by State Farm. Well, we're getting a chance to look at two guys with great bat control, the ability to put the ball in play, and then to find holes out there. It really points to their preparation before every game. And that'll give Chase Huntley the chance, a runner on. Now, two big rivals in the National League East, and you know you always see when these two teams match up, a real fight on the field, and a real fight in the stands a lot of times with these fans. They don't like each other. Pitch on the way. Oh, Passes what? on that low outside pitch, 1-0. Well, you figure when you're that close geographically and that into sports as the fans in Philly and New York are, you're going to have a great rivalry, and they do. Well, a couple years ago, Jimmy Rollins kind of called out the Mets a little bit, and they've had the Mets number over the last few years, and the Mets need to fight themselves back into this National League East race. Here's the 2-0. Pitch misses, ball three. Now Chase Utley can afford to watch one if he wants to. A uh, very low average, 208 last year against the Mets at City Field. That one fouled off by Atley. And on a full count, swing and a miss on the cutter that time. Two down. You've got to have better plate discipline than that. With two strikes, you need to be defensive and try to make contact. But when you get a fastball, you need to read whether it's a strike or not. Here's what the Mets have in store. This series with Philadelphia concludes on Sunday. They'll stay right there for the next set of games. The Pittsburgh Pirates. They'll get started Monday night. And they'll be going up against Nate McClouth and the Braves. A little chance for payback there. A team that beat them the last time out. Lots of home games. That's always a good thing.
That one's drilled to short. And that'll do it. Reyes puts it away. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. And the Mets, their first chance coming up. And it'll be Cliff Lee doing the pitching. He'll get the start for Philadelphia. Steve, as he faces this Mets lineup today, what do you think his thoughts are? There's no better command and control pitcher in the major leagues than Cliff Lee. He's got a great rhythm for pitching, locating that fastball, busting hitters inside, and then going with the change up and breaking ball away. Foul ball! Reyes, contact, and a foul ball. Lee with the windup. Strike three, swung on by Reyes, but no luck. That's a lot of movement there for a pitch at 87 miles per hour. Well, this is where you want to go with two strikes on the hitter. You want to go down out of the zone. He swings through it, couldn't make contact with that one. Here's Turner with the bat. Yesterday, the Mets picked up the win, and so they cleaned up with a three-game sweep against the Cubs in Chicago. On well, this ball club's been playing pretty well of late. Six wins in their last ten games. And a lot of this has to do with their patience they're showing at home play. One out, base is empty. He swings. This is going to be in play, fielded by Mayberry Jr. Play is made. All right now we've got a moment to look at the lineup of the Mets. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, keep an eye on Jason Bay, especially early in the game. He's a streaky hitter, so if he gets off to a hot start, he can make it last through the whole game and give you four great at-bats. If not, though, could be a long day for Jason Bay. But I think today is one of those days he's going to produce some runs for his team. Now we'll take a quick look at how Philadelphia lines up on the diamond defensively. And uh, scouting those fielders, John, well, one of the smartest players in baseball with the greatest instincts I've seen in a long time is Placido Polanco. Change positions, it doesn't matter. He plays them all as well as anyone in the game. Look for him to be a key factor defensively in this game. The third baseman, number five, Dave. And it's a called strike to right. He said 264 a lifetime against the Phillies. Lee with the windup. And that's a strike. David Wright going to have to take a defensive stance here. And you can throw the ball down to the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. One Tried to two. get him to go after that cutter, but it's one and two. Good action on that cut fastball down in the zone. Hitter just laid off. Two and and two. he leaves that one alone. Wright, patience, evens the count. Tough pitch to lay off that time. Full count, 3-2. Well, he tried to go outside on the outside corner with that fastball right there. Just got a little bit off the plate. He's got to be careful, though. You don't want that hitter to get his arms extended. And that one's going to drop in. That's their first hit. Let's take a look through the National League. Let's see where the Mets rank right now. Third in stolen bases, fifth in triples, and they're ranked in the top ten in home runs. So power, a big part of their offense in how they score runs. Beltron at the plate. Two outs and a man on first. All right, trying to steal. And he is out, trying to take second. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. Still scoreless in New York. Ibanez to lead us off. Now, if you saw his last game, you got a chance to see that he swung the bat well in that one, picking up a couple of knocks. A swing, and he crunches this one. Deep right center field. Off the wall. Ibanez is heading for third. And he'll stop at third. That's a three-bagger. Well, I was already to mark this down on the card as a double. Put another line in there. Well, he didn't let up at all, Gary. Great effort on his part. Took a chance, but he made it. Amazing thing is he was able to do it standing up. Now a chance here to see where the Philadelphia Phillies sit in the rankings in the National League.
First in triples, third in ERA. And they're ranked third in stolen bases. Speed, a big part of their ability to manufacture runs, taking the extra base and putting pressure on the opposition. Runner on third with nobody out. Cutter just misses. 1-0. Oh. You know, with, for a pitcher to be successful, you want to keep the ball off the sweet spot of the bat. The cut fastball does that. 1-0 oh pitch. Circle change. That's over. 1-1. One and one. And the beauty of that cut fastball, Steve, is oftentimes the delivery motion is the same as you see. With There's a ball. Hit deep. Left center field. This ball way back. Off the wall. And Ibanez will score. That tag, and he is out at third. Solid approach at the plate. Did not try to do too much right there. Didn't think he had to swing it and hit out of the ballpark. Make contact and get a run in. Nobody on base. One away. First pitch is a cutter. Looked at 0-1. And looking at his numbers from last year, he was 0 for 1 off Nice. Here's a swing and a high pop up. And Reyes is there. Now it's two away. And Ruiz settles in. Two outs and nobody on. Cut fastball, swung on and missed, 0 and 1. Here's the delivery. Hit in the air. Ends up foul. And this is popped up on the left side. And right grabs that one. That's going to retire the side. Getting things going early. They get a run in the second. Philadelphia leads it one to nothing. For those of you catching up with us, hi. I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Carlos Beltran to bat. He's the team's most walked batter. And Lee gets it by, called strike 0 and 1. Look, Gary, this club, I mean, they, they need to be patient, and he is the guy that sets the tone. Whoa. He works the count. And Beltron watches that one go by, and the count is even. Well, you got to like the way he's changing speed and mixing up his pitches. He just missed, though, with that changeup down two. and away. Good looking fastball. Called the ball, though, 2 and 1. Nothing yet in four ABs against Cliff Lee. Strike Lays two. off that time, but it's in there, and knee high strike. Evens things at two. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. It's hit foul by Beltron. And Carlos Beltron striking out, no contact. At 86 miles per hour and as flat as that, pretty dangerous pitch right there. Pulls the string, a changeup, John, to sit him down. Play followed up an off-speed pitch with that great changeup. Let you know that he has a lot of confidence in that pitch today. One away, and here's Jason Bay. But what you love about Cliff Lee is he just doesn't walk, guys. Sometimes that can be a detriment, though, but he's not going to give free passes. And, guys, you know as many games as you watch that when you walk guys, they come around to score. He eats innings, and he doesn't put guys on base unnecessarily. That's why he's a big winner. Watches that fastball that goes by him for a strike. Well, certainly Cliff Lee was the talk of baseball last year. He is just such a star force. You put him out there, his teammates, Steve, feel as though when he's there, we're going to win. Well, he also goes deep into the game, seven complete games along the way. And, you know, I think the big thing for him is efficiency with his stuff. He throws strikes, doesn't look for the strikeout, but he gets a lot of swings and misses because he's around the zone. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. The ability to move your pitches around within the zone, to change a hitter's eye level and keep them off balance are critical to success. Very successful there. Three pitches and a strikeout. The first baseman, Ike. Here's the pitch. And Davis lays off that one inside. And here's Lee's 1-0 pitch. A line drive towards short. Picked up by Rollins. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. 
And he goes quickly for Cliff Lee. That's a one, two, three. Good start for him. And it'll be the Phillies. Lights are on, City Field. And boy, these new lights sure do make it bright. It is beautiful. Brown ball played by Reyes. And that'll retire Lee. Here's a look at the standings in the Eastern Division race as Mays winding down. Brought to you by State Farm. In first place, it's the Braves. In second place, it's the Phillies. Marlins third. Fourth place, the Mets. And the bottom dwellers, the Washington Nationals. Here's one away, and here's Jimmy Rollins in. Well, it didn't matter too much in 2010 for the Phillies, home or road. They found ways to score enough runs to support what was an outstanding pitching staff. First pitch on the way to Rollins. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And Reyes picks it up. And that'll retire Rollins. Great pitching, not only home for our Phillies, but also on the road, Steve. A 45 and 36 record, and that really points to consistency for every aspect of the game. And it's Placido Polanco at the plate. One of the best batting averages in the league. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Amazingly fast inning. Uh, Oates here coming quickly. Three pitches. Phillies won. The Mets nothing. And in the batter's box it's Tolley. Lee's pitch swung on and missed. He throws his cut fastball hard and he has that good movement. He still gets that up in the zone. He's able to blow it by him at the left. Outside for a ball, one and one. That's oh, a good pitch with a cut fastball. When you're throwing this pitch, you want to start it on the corner, run it off the plate, trying to get the hitter to chase. Good piece of hitting to lay off of it. Swing and a miss on the breaker. One down. Like chases the breaking ball for strike three right there. You got to lay off. It. And Pridey's batting. He trails his team's leader in RBIs right now. One out, nobody on. Come on, come on. Lee with the windup. Oh. Just missed with the fastball. One and oh. He watches that fastball. It'll even up the count at 101. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Takes a swing, but the off-speed pitch gets by. One and two. Outside, two and two now. And the curveball, it's in there. Struck him out, two down now. Well, when you establish the inside part of the plate, it opens up the outside part of the plate. He goes with the curveball and gets the strikeout. Two outs, space is empty. First pitch to him, a curveball. Swung on and missed, 0-1. Lee now has him 0 and 2. Slider swung on and missed. Struck him out. That's going to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no one left on. Mets can't get the offense going. Chase Utley leading it off. First pitch on the way to Utley. He's up for that first pitch and misses 0 and 1. Well, good movement on that cutter. He had him way out on his front foot. And with two strikes on him now, Utley needs to protect, just make contact. Perfect pitch right there. I mean, I don't care how long a bat you have, you're not going to get that one. Breaks out of the strike zone away, and he can't catch up. Swing and a miss, strike three. Chase Utley is out of there. 
A really nice sequence right there. He had good rhythm, three great pitches in a row, and sits him down. Hitter never got a chance to get his balance, get his at bat going there, John. Well, he just didn't look good right there in the batter's box. He needs to take a better defensive approach to extend the at bat a little longer. And it's Ryan Howard now. And in 2010, another great season for Ryan Howard. Over 100 RBIs for the fifth straight year. He just keeps producing with runners on base. Base is empty, one out. Here's the delivery. Swing and a miss on the cutter. 0 and 1. John talking about the Howard's RBIs. It's real tough on a player. You're talking about pressure. You get over 100 RBIs, and everybody's going, what's the problem? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It's a down year. The guy drove in 100 runs. I mean, I, listen, he's driven in 140 before. He's a guy that, that his home run numbers were down a little bit, but those numbers oh, will come back. He's still a clutch hitter. That one fouled off by Howard. Oh. And he fouls another one off. Well, he's doing everything he can to stay alive on this 2-2 two -two count. A nice defensive swing. Make sure he just got enough of the bat on it. Hits it foul. Oh. Now let's see where it goes from here. And Toll setting his target. And that one swung on and missed by Ryan Howard. Well, two strikes, you have to try to fight off this pitch. You have to think away and adjust in. They went away, but he couldn't make contact. And Memorial Day is coming right up. It'll be Joey Votto and the Cincinnati Reds. They'll be hosting the Milwaukee Brewers. The game gets underway 7 o'clock Eastern. Hey, Gary, do you think John will buy us dinner in town that time we go watch that ball game? First pitch on the way to Ibanez. Can't get him to chase it. That's low. Ball one. He hit 235 last season against the Mets. Lost the grip on that cutter, and it's a 2 0 count. That's a ball. 3 0. Raul Ibanez, a dangerous hitter if he gets the green light. Uh, he's fallen behind 3-0, and oh, and let me tell you something. He has to come back with a strike to get something going right here on this hitter. It's now 3-1. and one. Ibanez right where he wanted that count. Well, that's a pitch up in the zone that you can get away with on a 3-0 count, but you throw it 3-1, you could get hurt. Cutter is swung on and missed, 3-2. and two. Well, you can tell he's seen the ball really well. Even though he swung and missed, he was right on You're that out. pitch. If he gets another one there, watch out. And uh, that half inning finished with a strikeout. And they are retired in short order. Good defensive half inning. Next, it'll be the Mets getting it going. And Jose Reyes up. He's the top ten in stolen bases for the league. Lee with the windup. Foul! Reyes contact and a foul ball. Lee now has him 0 and 2. A guy that just have not been able to mount any offense here today. I mean, one hit into the fourth inning, and, and obviously they haven't scored any runs, so they're going to have to change their approach at the plate. Fastball is up high, and it's 1 and 2. Swung on and ripped towards second, and the play made by Utley. Look, Gary, he's pitching well right now. And that's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. Nobody on base. One away. First pitch. Here it comes. Strike Called one. strike on the outside corner. 0-1. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Played by Utley. And a good throw gets him two down. Here's a look at teams getting it done on our league leaderboard. The stats that have the lowest ERA. Number one, the Cardinals. The Marlins second. The Phillies third. Fourth, the Brewers. And in that five spot, it's the Giants. Pitching is the name of the game. You see where they rank in ERA. They've had a very successful season so far this year. And the pitchers are getting the job done. And it's David Wright now. 
He has the highest average on the team. Base is empty and two down. Right gets set. Here's the first pitch. That's a ball. Lee misses. The 1-0 now. That's outside. Ball two. The pitch. And that's a ball. Now David Wright's going to be looking for the green light. Last season, a 242 average against the Phillies. That misses ball four. The potential tying run on base. Well, I didn't want to lay it right down the middle, but he misses with this one low, and now he's walked him on four pitches. He's got to settle down. So Carlos Beltran will come up. The fresh count on Beltran. Here it comes. Pitch out. Nothing doing, though. And here's Lee's 1-0 pitch. Swing and a miss. Beltron can't make contact. That'll even up the count. And Steve, what he's got to do now, you want to get this final out right here. Oh, you got to be very careful right here. You know, you don't want to say, hey, I walked again. Let me throw one right over the plate and get ahead because the hitter was sitting on a pitch down the middle. 1-2 pitch coming. And Beltron watches that one go by, and the count is even. I'm not sure I like this cut fastball up in the zone right here. It's a pitch you want to get down in the zone to run off the corners. Don't leave it over the plate. Picked up by Rollins. Throw over to second base, a force to retire the side. Doesn't like those kind of innings. He keeps throwing them up there, but lead. He has delivered shutout ball through four. Fifth inning upcoming here at City Field. Welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. That's a called strike 0-1. That fastball just froze him on the inside corner. Now we're going to see where he goes. Look for something soft possibly away. Dominic Brown. He looks at that one. It's a ball and it's an even count. He delivers. 1-1. One, one. Curveball misses. 2-1. I well, see the bit over match last game out. He's striking out three times in that one, so he's hoping to make a little more contact here. Oh. Good discipline to lay off there, and it's 3-1. Well, he didn't chase that one. That pitch down and away. Good movement on the cut fastball. He just laid off of it. It's a pitch with two strikes. You better be swinging at, though. And he gets it down. He's 2-2 two for two now. Well, anytime you can get on base with no outs to start an inning, you know that an extra base hit will probably score you. But even if the batter behind you can figure out a way to get on base, now you have the potential for a huge inning. Runner on first. He deals. There's a swing, line drive, center field. That one gets through for a base hit. Fantastic chance here. Got to like the aggressiveness on the bases right there. He was thinking third base all the way. As soon as he saw it go through the infield, he said, I'm going to third. First pitch on the way. And that's in there for a strike. Even with the late movement on the cut fastball, you don't want to throw it up in the zone because a hitter can fight it off and muscle it over the infield. Carlos Ruiz will take. It's a ball. Count is even. Well, anytime you're throwing a fastball down in the zone, especially down and in, the only thing a hitter can do is hit that ball into the ground. Good job of laying off. And it falls as Brown comes home to score. Well, with one run already across the board and nobody out, this has the potential of being a really big inning. Let's see if they can string some hits together. And in the batter's box, it's Lee. So the direction here, Steve, for this lineup, just stay in charge. Right now they are. Gary, we just saw a big hit right there, and it points out how critical it is at this time of the game to have somebody who can step up and get the job done in a clutch situation. And now it comes down to can their bullpen hold this lead. No outs in the corners are covered. And here's the first one. Drops down a bunt. It's gobbled up. Throw on to first in time on the way. And now the hottest hitters of late on base percentage-wise over the last 10 games are State Farm leaderboard. Now you look at Rollins. He leads the pack, number one. 
That's an amazing stat right there. He's getting on base every possible way, just daring pitches to try to get him out, but his patience is really paying off. Runners at second and third, only one away. First pitch to him. The fastball is in there. It's 0 and 1. Two hits, 13 at bats last year off the Mets here in New York. And it's 0 2. Jimmy Rollins swinging at anything close here. Well, this pitch has such big break on it, just catches the corner. Good cutter there, but it's 1 and 2 down. Swung on, liner to right. Two men have been put away. Runners on the move. The first runs in easily. Oh, what a good offensive team. Finding a way to get the runners in. Take advantage of the opportunities when you have them. That's a good offense. Well, the run standing just 90 feet away. Here's Placido Polanco. And Steve, the offense continues to produce. They keep building on it. Well, now they're putting some distance between themselves and their opponent. With the bats like that, keep tacking on the runs and pulling away. Fresh count on Polanco. Here's the delivery towards center field. That'll do it as they put that one away. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. Philadelphia up three. It's Jason Bay to lead it off. Bay gets set. Here's the first pitch. And Lee throws one outside for a ball. Good cut fastball in there. One and one. Well, that cut fastball away. It looks like it's coming down the heart of the plate. Runs to the outside corner. It tends to turn into a pop-up. 1-1 one, one pitch, fastball. That's going to be low, 2-1. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. Big swing, misses on the changeup, struck him out, went away. Now they went soft with two strikes. They go to the changeup, completely fooling the hitter. Struck him out. One out, nobody on. Lee with the windup. And the pitch taken. First strike by Davis. Low pitch from Lee. That'll be a ball. Spotted by Ruiz. And Davis will take that low. Davis making contact, but he'll foul oh. that one away. Oh, fastball is low that time. The count runs full. All right, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Struck him out. That's number eight in the game. Well, I'll tell you what, with this kind of fastball, you can make a living up in the zone. He runs it up and away. The hitter was thinking something else. Two outs and nobody on. Here's the first pitch. Ball. And it's taken high for a ball. Lee out of the strike zone with that one. 1-0 on the way. And he looks at a fastball in there. 1-1. The pitcher really rearing back and throwing. He's got everything working now, commanding the strike zone with that fastball. Swung on a fly ball down the left field line. That'll do it as Ibanez puts that one away. No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. Mets can't get the offense going. And Chase Utley to bat.
First pitch on the way to Utley. Swung on and fouled away. Foul. Chase Utley not fooled by that pitch. Count is even. Here's the delivery. Ooh, tough to lay off there, but it's two and one. And Utley works this one to the hitter's count of three and one. Well, anytime you have a count three and one in your favor as the hitter, you're looking for a pitch in a little box in the location you want to. If he throws it in there, you better be ready and get a good hack at it. Well, pitcher nibbling a little bit right here. Hitter not being overly aggressive, laying off those borderline pitches. And that'll bring Ryan Howard to the plate. A runner on first, no out. And now Howard gets set. And he watches a cut fastball to start the at bat for strike one. Here's the pitch. This is a swing hit in the air. And it's going to be Beltron. That's one down. Where the team's leading the way in swipes found on our State Farm leaderboard. Number one, the Pirates. The Astros in second. Third, Mets. Fourth, the Phillies. And we've got the Marlins ranked fifth. Now this could turn into a track meet here today. Both these teams like to run. Speed a major factor. Looking to manufacture. Stopping the running game could be critical to the success. And it's Ralabanias in the box now. Last season for him, two for nine off Nice. Here's the pitch. And that runs high, 1-0. and oh. Boy, Banez with a slow start to his 2010 season. A lot of people thought that maybe he should be platooned. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. The second for one. Davis there, but not in time. They won't get two. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. No, they wanted to. And we're going to see Brown here. He singled and later scored in his last time up. First pitch on the way. First pitch is a cut fastball high. 1-0. Oh. I'm not sure I like this cut fastball up in the zone right here. It's a pitch you want to get down in the zone to run off the corners. Don't leave it over the plate. Misses outside for ball two. And that's swung on and hit. Bay's going to play it. That one's grabbed. Side retired. Well, they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. Phillies three. The Mets nothing. We'll get a look at that leadoff hitter due up here in the inning. And Pridey's batting. He's going to lead off bottom half of the sixth inning. Now the first pitch. And a swinging strike on the first pitch by Lee, 0-1. He must not have eaten for a long time because he was hungry for this pitch. Problem was, it's a pretty good slider. You swing that hard at a slider, pretty good chances you're going to come up empty. Here's the pitch. Swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. Popped into foul territory down the left side. Tried to track that one down, but comes up empty. Well, even though he's still behind in the count, it's got to give himself a lot of confidence to know that this guy threw one of his best pitches, that You're strikeout out. pitch, and he still put it in play to foul it off. Now he's in the pitcher's head. Down on strikes there. Nice Hi. piece of pitching work. Well, the pinch hitter entering the game right now. The game is officially over. That's the end of the line for the pitcher today. Base is empty with one away. Contact. That one high in the air, but that's going to be foul down the right side. The pitch. Good patience, Scott Harrison, for a ball and an even count. Flat fastball right there just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. One, I think they wanted that one bad. You're Got out. him. Strikeout number 10 today. 
Well, K-Cam's going to show us this 12-6 curve. Let's get a better look. Fantastic piece of pitching to get that out, John. Well, that's the part of pitching you love. He's looking for a fastball. He's expecting a fastball. And then just drop one right off the table. What a pitch. So Jose Reyes will try and keep it going. And the National League pitchers have to deal with him on the base pass. He's near the top in steals. First one to Reyes. Here's the pitch. Ball. And Lee throws one outside for a ball. I tell you, I, this, this makes the game exciting for me. The strategy that comes into play with a guy like this on the bases means one of the best base dealers around. And a swing and a miss by Reyes. Count knotted up. He's got a 296 career batting average against the Phillies. Line towards second. And that'll retire the side. Caught by Utley. Uh, Gary really brought his A game for this one. Executing all of his pitches. Great command and control. They haven't been able to muster any offense against him so far in this game. Mets can't get the offense going. Hi. Mayberry Jr. now will take a shot at it at the plate. He'll lead off the seventh inning. Vito will come in and pitch. They've decided it was time to make a change here. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. And it's going to be Beltron. Roams over, puts it away. And Ruiz settles in. RBI single his last time to the plate. One out, nobody on. Here it comes. There's a swing and a ground ball. And Reyes picks it up. And Ruiz is set down. We're breaking the action here. Let's look at the hit leaders on our State Farm leaderboard. Well, when you're at the top of the league lead in base hits, that means you're making a ton of contact. You're not striking out a lot, and that makes it difficult on the pitcher. Well, these two guys in this game today are two of the best at it, at putting the bat on the ball and getting on base. That's why they're among the league leaders in hits. Fastball, too low, 1-0. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location, and believe me, very right difficult to hit. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. The key to hitting the changeup, if you commit early, you have to keep your hands back. His hands went with the body. He couldn't swing. Two one on the way. Takes a swing at that fastball, but doesn't make contact, and it goes even at two. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. You're out. Slider calls strike three. Side is retired. Seven pitches and it's done. That's how you save your arm and go deep into a game. It's seventh inning stretch time in New York. Hi. Here's Turner with the bat. Grounded out his last time up. Well, it's always nice to have a defensive replacement coming off the bench and holding a lead or holding a deficit and giving yourself a chance to win. Now he needs to come up with a big play. And it's fouled away. Now Lee with the 0-1 pitch. Liner between first and second. And it's caught. The play by Howard. Well, he's pitching with a lot of confidence out there right now. He's been very efficient with his stuff. A hard guy to beat when he's locked in, and he's clearly locked in today. One away, and David Wright gets set. Well, the great thing about David Wright is he's a stand-up guy. When things are going good, he's in front of the media. When things are going bad, he's still in front of the media answering their questions. He's in the lineup pretty much every day. He's been a very durable player for the New York Mets. And Lee throws one outside for a ball. The other thing about David Wright, guys, his glove. I mean, his bat's so good it gets overlooked, but he's a really good defensive ball player. You know, he's a good base. There's a swing and a smash. And Martinez as he holds it in. 
Well, Derek Brown, the pitcher, it's a little bit different. You know how long they can go into a game, but right now he still looks pretty strong right now. Two outs in the seventh. I think he's got a chance to shut them down the rest of the way. A fresh count on Beltron. Here it comes. Lee catches him looking. What an extraordinary effort out of the mound today. I mean, we're deep into this ball game. They've only been able to generate one hit against him. His stuff has been phenomenal, and his execution even better. Strike two. Now with no balls and two strikes, Beltron needs to protect that strike zone. Well, this one here was no doubt about it. The late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating pitch, and the hitter just couldn't catch up. Well, he was able to ring up that K, and he needed it, and it got him out of the inning. And a frustrated lineup indeed. That's now seven shutout innings. Phillies still on top. First pitch on the way to Rome. Starts him up with a change up for a strike. Okay, there are so many different ways to get hitters out. Velocity, the change in velocity, deception, and movement. Well, his change up gives you all of those. The pitch, change up just off the black, and it's two and one. You know, as a hitter with, with Gary, we talk about how the quality of this guy's change up, it's so, so difficult. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. And Bay picks it up. Well, this ball was well struck, but it stays in the ballpark. The left fielder is able to range back and make the catch. So with one down, we'll see Placido Polanco. Flew out last time. Fresh count on Polanco. Here's the delivery. Ball. First pitch inside with a fastball. Ball one. Well, that pitch just took off right there and exploded out of the pitcher's hand. Kept it just a little bit inside, right though. Tough pitch to hit. Good job by the hitter to lay off. 1-1 one, one pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Turner. Two away. And a shot here for Chase Utley with two down. Career numbers for him 277 off the Mets. First pitch on the way to Utley. Took something off and it swung on and missed. 0 and 1. That one fouled off by Utley. Swing and a miss, strike three. Chase Utley is out of there. Nobody left on base. No runs or hits here in this half inning. And here come the Mets. This is going to be their half of the eighth. And it's Jason Bay to lead it off. 0 for 2 thus far. And we'll get to see Jose Contreras pitching. He's been chosen to take over out there. Bay taking that one. It's in there. That's textbook use of the sinker, down and away, pounding the strike zone. Good pitch. There's a swing and a line drive, and it's through. Bay ends up with a single at first. Here's the numbers that Jason Bay's been putting up this month, and look how he compares to everybody else in the league. Second slugging percentage, third in doubles, and as you can tell, he can pretty much do it all, ranked in the top ten in home runs as well, so the power of production there also. Bay is on at first. This one's grounded near third. Foul. Contreras sets and throws. Oh. Daniel Murphy not fooled by the pitch, and the count is even. He's hit 283 lifetime off the Phillies. Comes set, now the 1 1. Swing and a miss on the splitter, and it's 1 and 2. Well, he's definitely looking for something else right there. That pitch fooled him, and he swung early. Foul. Line towards third and foul. The one-two on its way. Swing and a rocket towards short. That is in. It's going to bring the tying run to the plate. Well, you just can't explain how valuable a pinch hitter is. A guy who can come off the bench cold and deliver a big hit. 
And in the batter's box, it's Tolley. He flew out his last time up. No one out yet. Runners at first and second. The first pitch. Smash towards the middle. There's Rollins for one. And there's two. A double play. Execution on that 6-4-3. You have to have body control around the bag. Great acrobatic turn by the second baseman. Outstanding job. Now the State Farm leaderboard staff's responsible for the fewest free passes in the league. Number one, the Phillies. The Marlins second. Third, the D-backs. Padres fourth. And it's the Pirates fifth best. Will you ask any manager and any pitching coach in baseball the one thing they really hate to see, and that's putting guys on base without having to swing the bat. Well, this team does it better than anyone. They don't walk people. They're the best oh, in the oh. league at it. And when you have a pitching staff that's going to throw strikes, the defense around them are going to play so much better because you're always on your toe, hey. knowing that at any time a ball can be put in hey. play. That's what this team gives you. Johnny's facing this Mets lineup today. Uh, tell us his thoughts. Well, over the last couple of years, when Ryan Madsen's come in the game, that usually means that the game is on the line. And the fact that he can strike people out, 77 and a third innings in 2009, 78 strikeouts. He has that ability with a fastball that ranges anywhere from 92 to 98, but he gets a lot of those strikeouts with a circle change that can absolutely make a hitter look foolish. Runners at first and third with two away. Madsen with the windup. Oh. That's off the plate away, 1 and 0. The 1 0 pitch. Oh. Harris watches inside for a ball. Good running movement on that pitch, in on the hands for the hitter. He laid off, but couldn't do anything with it, anyways. Oh, Cutter great. misses badly, down 3 and 0. A well, good movement on the cutter there, but he's got to get the ball down to the zone. He can get hurt with hitters throwing it up there. Hunt fastball taking all the way. Three and one. Well, he gets the strike, and it was just a get-me-over pitch right there. He better not throw that same pitch on 3-1. Swing and a line to left. And that one to fall in, and the run will score. Anytime you're sitting on the bench, you, it's hard to tell what a pitcher's really throwing unless you're getting in that batter's box. You come off the bench very cold like he was and delivers. That is huge. Well, there's a lot riding on speedy Jose Reyes' bat here, Gary. You can just see the intensity in his face. Big time production. That's a very important inning in the offense note. Well, they're narrowing the lead late here in the game, Gary, and they're showing some fight left in those bats. First one to Reyes. Here's the pitch. There's a strike from Madsen now 0-1. And, and what you hope when you get a hit like that is that maybe you've got momentum starting to come your way because the game's not over. Well, you know what? They've got momentum going their way, and if they could just find a hole somewhere, find a way to manufacture a run, they could turn it all the way around. The 1-1 now. This to the fastball outside, two and one. Two one pitch. And now Jose Reyes has the three one count. Last year, he picked up no hits, had three at bats off Ryan Madsen. That fastball is in there. He lays off it now at three two. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. And the payoff pitch, Reyes digs in, swinging a liner to left, and he's on. That's the go-ahead run, and he's in there. And Steve, this one turns into a nice one-run RBI. You leave a pitch up in the zone like that, hitters are going to hammer it. That's what happened. One scored, another runner on base. Two men on, two men out. 
Madsen with the windup. Oh. They throw wide with the first one. Here's a throw over to first. And Howard keeps him close to the bag. Here's the 1-0. Hit in the air. In right. Foul territory. And Brown puts that away to retire the side. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. The Mets cut the deficit and get some much-needed run support. 0 for 3 to this point. And we've got Tim Burdick out on the mound as they make the pitching swap. And now Howard gets set. And there's a swing and a miss behind 0 and 1. He got 25 at bats last season against him. Six hits off the Mets here in New York. He delivers. And it's 0 2. Ryan Howard. He'll be swinging at anything close here. This pitcher being very aggressive throwing strikes. I think he's going to try to get him to chase. Now it's popped up behind home plate. Good effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. Ball Trying to get him to chase a slider, but it's one and two. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. Crab ball got him on the way. I tell you, that kind of that kind of breaking ball in the low 80s is awfully tough to hit. It was not a good-looking swing on that pitch. Well, good at bat starts with good swings, and bad at bats end with bad swings. I think he'd want that last swing back if he had the choice. One out, bases in. First pitch on the way to Ibanez. He sends this one in the air towards center. That's the second out. And we're going to see Brown here. Bases empty with two outs. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Ball Dominic Brown. He looks at that one. It's a ball and it's an even count. The pitch. Line drive. And he'll step on first to retire the side. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. Next, it'll be the Mets getting it going. That's a critical moment in this game. David Wright, you can see. Let's see if he can get the job done. Trying to make that great comeback here in the bottom half of the last inning. He represents the potential tying run. Oh. The bottom of the ninth, two guys, mano a mano, who's going to win it? Bottom half of the ninth now, 1-0 -oh count. Now coming down to the wire right here, it's do or die time. You need base runners. Get somebody on. If you get the leadoff man on, it allows you to move him up with a bunt. To sacrifice bunt, you can get him on, get him over, and get him in. This is a critical situation. Boy, excellent movement to the cutter, and it's one and two. Got to love that location down and away. And with that kind of movement, not many guys are going to put it in play. And right swings and misses, strike three. You can see the movement on the circle change here. Well, two strikes, you have to try to fight off this pitch. You have to think away and adjust in. They went away, but he couldn't make contact. And Carlos Beltran to bat. Batting 500, four bats last year. Good chances for him against Ryan Madsen. Base is empty with one away. The first count on Beltron. Here it comes. Oh, a fastball. That one in the dirt. He lays off that. Now 
now the 1 0 from Madsen. Hit on the ground. Rollins picks it up. And he'll be tagged out at first base. Now we're counting down right here. They've got one out left in this game. And I think offensively, you're hoping for that long ball, but you've got you'll take anything. Give a base runner. Get somebody on. Madsen with the windup. First pitch is a cutter. Looked at 0-1. He throws that cut fastball up and into the hitter. Kind of surprised him. He couldn't offer at it. And it's 0-2. Bay will target that strike zone now, not let anything by. Fans are on their feet right now. They know two strikes on the hitter. They need to keep this thing going. It's fouled away. Oh. Wanted to get him fishing, but he misses one and two. Well, that's where you look for a changeup from the pitcher away in the strike zone. And if they look for it and get it, they can really shoot oh. that thing the other way and do some damage. Now the 2-2. Two -two. A shot up the middle, and it's in there. The tying run on board. Now Jason Bay can swing the bat. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. Third in slugging percentage, eighth in home runs, and he's also in the top ten in doubles in the league. That ability to drive the ball in the gaps and hustle himself into second base. And in the batter's box, it's Murphy. Only one career at bat. That's a one off Madsen. A runner on first with two outs. Here's the first pitch. Oh. Fastball runs inside, 1-0. Oh. Well, I tell you what, the offensive team is really doing a good job right now. You never want your closer to throw over 30 pitches, one, one. but that's where they have him right now. Let's see if they can try to finish him off. Oh. Low for a ball to Murphy. That's a ball. Madsen misses. Well, this is not what you expected when you brought your closer into this game. Laboring right now, throwing over 30 pitches. I tell you oh. what, the outcome of this one might not be too good. And a grounder is at the last out. Oh. And on the first round, number three. And that's going to do it.